ಸದಸ್ಯ ನಾನಾಂಜನ ಶಾಲಾಕ್ಯ ಸಾಕ್ಷೂರ್ ಪುಣ್ಮಲತ್ತಮೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಪಾದ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಯೋಗಸೂತ್ರ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಎಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ತತ್ಪರಂ ಪುರುಷಾಕ್ಯತೆ ಗುಣ ವೈತ್ರೇಷ್ಣ್ಯಂ ತತ್ಪರಂ ಪುರುಷಾಕ್ಯತೆ ಗುಣ ವೈತ್ರೇಷ್ಣ್ಯಂ ತತ್ಪರಂ ಪುರುಷಾಕ್ಯತೆ ಗುಣ ವೈತ್ರೇಷ್ಣ್ಯಂ ದ ಪ್ಯೂರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆನೌನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ವನ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೇಚರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಗುಣ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಚತ್ವ ರಚಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ತಮಸ್ ಒನ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸಸ್ ದ ಪುರುಷ ದ ಸೋಲ್ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ನಾನ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಮೆಂಟ್ the highest state it is a process that evolves progressively as we practice more and more and it get deepens when the practice is deepening it leads to a supreme non attachment which is also called as para vairagya this level of non attachment comes through direct experience of pure consciousness so knowing everything that is changing in this world and will change now future every time knowing that everything will change will help us to conclude that no situation all relationship can be perfect so this knowledge will help us to adjust ourselves internally and maintain a equilibrium of mental state so here padanjali magarasi is uh, dividing this paravairagya in three levels like uh, to reach that paravairagya is first starting with grass world then between the grass world and subtle world between grass world uh, everything in between the grass world and the paravairagya and the final thing is getting into how to reach the paravairagya state so in the grass world there are many objects in our daily lives for which our mental impressions are colored with various degrees of attractions or aversions this is the first level of developing freedom from those bondages and experiencing a greater inner peace so in the second stage which is everything between there are many types of objects between the levels of the grass world and the subtlest building blocks after the mind is stabilized these subtler levels are explored and set aside with non attachment and discrimination this includes meditation and non attachment to pranic energy meditation and non attachment to the five elements non attachment to the senses and non attachment to the subtler aspects of the mind so in the third stage which is subtlest building blocks there are three primal elements which we call as gunas that are addressed mainly in this sutra the idea is that the yogi become non attached even to the subtlest building block that is para vairagya when the yogi is reaching this para vairagya state he can able to realize his own self the state of yoga chitta vritti nirodha that is realizing who we are that we are yes purusha this concept of three levels may seem it is uh, alien but we are all accustomed to this in our world if we compare this to only the physical universe it would be somewhat like becoming non attached to protons electrons and neutrons which are the particles that form atoms 
Notice how physical universe is also constructed in these three levels, like particles which consist of protons, electrons and neutrons, then atoms, molecules, compounds and objects. Imagine that you are free from attachments and aversions to the particles, then you would be free from attachment and aversions to all it evolutes as well, including molecules, compounds and all of the physical objects of the world. Similarly, this is the suggestion of supreme non-attachment to the gunas. Supreme non-attachment, paraviragya to the gunas. Paraviragya to the three natural elements, gunas, sattva, rajas and tamas. Unattaching to sattvic, rajasic and tamasic gunas in both manifest and unmanifest manner. Non-attachment to the gunas includes non-attachment in relation to not only the grass world but also the entire subtle phys psych psychic astral plane, SLS causal out of which they arise. Paravairagya comes after self-realization. On a practical level, this is not to say that we must attain the Paravairagya level to attain direct experience of the center of consciousness. Rather, it is describing where non-attachment ultimately leads once you have the tool of Samadhi and direct experience. So, why is the highest stage of Vairagya called Paravairagya? Reaching a stage of total disinterestedness is anything and everything except the pursuit of spiritual practice which is considered as the true disinterestedness of a higher kind. When the highest is reached, then one has the really one has really realized the spiritual purpose. When this is called the highest, the highest self-realization. But at this material level, all the other interests have been gone. Then even the gunas then do not bind the individual and they do not create varied attractions. They are not interested towards any attractions. They are not interested towards having that sense as attached to the attractions. So this Yoga Sutra states that when the true nature of self is realized, one's attractions to the external world diminish. This means that by realizing our true nature, we become less attached to material possessions and external desires. So here are some practices that we can do on daily basis. Self-reflection. Spend some time every day reflecting on your thoughts, emotions and actions. Observe how they affect you and the world around you. This can help you understand your own true nature and realize that you are more than just your thoughts and emotions. Meditation. Regular meditation can help you go beyond your thoughts and emotions and connect with your own true self. Try to meditate at least 20 to 30 minutes every day. Self inquiry. Ask yourself a lot of questions like who am I? What is my true nature? Why I am here? What is the purpose of my life? This can help you shift your focus from external desires to your true self. Practicing detachment. Practice detachment by letting go of things that no longer serve you or bring you joy. This can be physical possessions or even relationships that are not healthy for you. Cultivating virtues. Cultivate virtues like kindness, compassion and gratitude. This can help you connect with your true self and develop a deeper sense of fulfillment. Remember that realizing your true nature and becoming less attached to the external world is a gradual process that requires consistent effort and practice. By contemplating the difficulty of obtaining leisure and opportunity, you will be incited to dharma. By contemplating death and impermanence, you will be incited to practice virtue. By contemplating the inevitable cause and effect of actions, you will be incited to abandon non-virtue. By contemplating the defects of samsara, you will be incited to accomplish kaivalya, liberation. One can reflect on these four thoughts. 
Part number one is contemplate the difficulty of obtaining the leisure and opportunity. Second is contemplate death and impermanence. Third one, contemplate the inevitable cause and effect of actions. Fourth is contemplate the defects of the samsara which will bring us kaivalya, the liberation. So when we reflect on this four task, sit, sit in a Bhatmasana or even in an armchair or even when you are traveling. This can also be meditated upon as a formal uh, session on a daily basis. So in this case, one settles the mind for a few minutes using a technique. So you can first breathe 21 times, inhale, exhale 21 times slowly. So we can seize this thought process and we can able to contemplate each and everything. So we know, we can understand the final thing which is Purusa. By contemplating on everything, we can able to understand our own self. Yoga Chitta Vritta Nirodha. So, we can able to stop the fluctuation of mind. We can able to realize who we are. So, in, in summary of this Sutra, this Sutra teaches that by connecting with our true nature as Purusa, as Soul, as Paramatma, we can find lasting peace, joy and contentment. Through practices like self-inquiry, cultivating virtues and meditation, we can deepen our understanding of this concept and we can experience its benefits in our daily lives. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this sutra very helpful, please practice this sutra on a daily basis as we have been discussing for the last few minutes and achieve your liberation, realize yourself. Comment me or reach me to know more about this. Namaste. Om Tachat, Om Tachat, Om Tachat. Please subscribe to our Vedi Books YouTube channel by clicking on the bell icon.